welcome to Enjoy Living, my name's Daniela. So in my last video, I had a lot of comments from people who really seemed like they were in the thick of the long COVID journey. So right in the depths when it's hard to see any light in the tunnel. And I just wanted to let you know, I understand. I completely understand because I've been on this journey for two years now and I have watched my life change into something completely unrecognizable. I had to step away from a business I put so much energy into building because I was barely surviving and barely able to get out of bed. Felt like my life was just about work and then healing so that I could work again. And I made a decision to step away. I've had to rely on family so much, helping me, you know, travel to doctor's appointments and therapy appointments, helping me with my shopping and so many things because the brain fog and the fatigue was just so consuming. And I've had friendships that I've had to step away from because, you know, those relationships were not supporting my healing. And I know these are all really common things because I have heard so many people going through this experience and I just want to let you know that you are not alone if you are going through this experience. And I know that now as I'm sharing more of my journey, it's because I have a little bit more energy because during that time I had to completely withdraw from the world and I was not able to share those really dark times. But even now, when I feel a little bit more stability and a little bit more, I guess, ability to live and welcome the day when I wake up rather than dread the day, I still have dark moments. I still, you know, can feel really hopeful and see a clear road to recovery one moment and the next moment be right there, right back in the depths of the despair and, you know, almost not even imagining, not even able to imagine a time when I felt energized and a time when I could feel energy again. It's This journey is so up and down and it can be very hard sometimes to keep going. So if you are going through this at the moment, my message to you is this, and you might not be ready to hear it because I know I wasn't ready to hear it even a few months ago, but I'm going to share it anyway. And maybe one day this message will sit and it will sit well within you. And that is that this experience of long COVID, and I know this because this is how I feel. This is what I have come to a point where I can appreciate now. This experience is giving us an opportunity to learn more about ourselves and bo our bodies and what it means for us to heal than ever before. Because we are all unique. We all need slightly different therapies, protocols, um, whatever it is for us to heal. And we only can find that out by taking a deep dive into healing. And that is what long COVID asks for. When you have so much such limited energy, you have to be so clear about where you spend your time and energy. And if I can encourage you to do anything, it's spend as much of that time and energy on yourself, on self-care and on healing. And I know that that's not always easy, especially if you have kids. And if you do, I have so much respect for you because I cannot imagine being able to look after anyone else whilst going through this. But however you can, however that looks for you, please dedicate as much of your time and energy into self-care. And if you need some inspiration, because I know for me, what self-care used to mean and what it means now is two very different things. You know, I used to love to spend time outdoors, running, doing yoga, swimming, but those are all things that I was not able to do at this time. So I have two videos where I share a lot of what my self-care looks like. So if you need any inspiration, I'm going to link those videos below. It's long COVID, what I do in a day and top, I think it's top 10 or top eight self-care habits. Um, so do check those out and see if you get some inspiration. So this journey might not be easy. It might not be smooth sailing. But what has really helped me is learning the subtle cues, the subtle signs, or sometimes not so subtle that my body gives me, um, you know, when it needs rest, 
when I'm potentially overdoing it, you know, I'm getting more and more in tune with those signs and able to, you know, find the balance of stability a little bit more and more. There were months where, you know, I'd take one step, one step and I'd knock myself down and it would be days and days in bed. And I think I'm getting a little bit better, please God, I hope, I'm getting a little bit better at, you know, staying on that tightrope, finding that balance and maintaining more stability. And that doesn't mean to say, you know, I don't knock down, you know, get knocked down. Um, still, it does happen. You know, sometimes I have all the best intentions and I'm thinking I'm doing everything right. And then, you know, the next day I feel awful and I'm like, what could I possibly have done? Still happens. This journey is so up and down. And, you know, sometimes things beyond our control can trigger relapses. Um, and I talk about this in my relapse video. But, oh my gosh, it feels so good to have just even that, you know, 5% more stability in my life. It just helps me to feel like I can live again, to feel like I enjoy living and I want to live again. Um, and I really hope that for you. I hope that oh, everyone going through long COVID can get to that place where they have that Oh, sense that they just they, that they want to live <laughs> they want to live again because it can feel so dark sometimes um so i hope if anything that me sharing this experience can maybe just make you help you feel not so alone just to know someone else is going through it if you get any inspiration for um you know self-care and respecting your body's needs even when you feel oh the fatigue the deep, deep, deep fatigue, I think that was the most transformational part of my journey is when I stopped fighting it, when I stopped feeling angry and resentful for the fatigue and the brain fog, and rather when I woke up and I felt the all-consuming body fatigue, I just said, I surrender, I surrender to the fatigue today and I will do whatever I can to rest and respect that feeling. That was probably the most transformational <laughs> moment of this journey. And that's not to say that it has been smooth sailing ever since. You know, it still is a daily, I do have to remind myself daily, and it is a daily practice to surrender to the experience and to find reasons to be grateful. But each day, it do, I do feel a little bit more connected um, to myself, to life again, to the people around me, which is a blessing <sighs> oh, and a relief. <laughs> And I truly believe that in this moment, no matter where we are on our journey, that we can have a little bit more peace, a little bit more compassion, and a little bit more respect for what our body is going through. A little bit more understanding for ourselves right now in the thick of it all. And I wish you so much healing, so much compassion and unconditional love for yourself, for your body, for your experience, for this journey, right here, right now, wherever you are on it. And I really hope that this video has resonated um, somewhat with you, that it maybe offered a little bit of light in the what can feel like a somewhat dark tunnel during long COVID, just to let you know that I am here, that I am going through this experience with you. And I hope to see you in a video soon.